China's latest next project is turning heads, a hydropower project in the lower reaches of the Yalu Zangbu River. Engineers are cutting through bends to shorten the river's path to make better use of its deep drop. This allows this project to harness a dramatic 2,000 meter drop over just 50 kilometers. The plan is to build five cascade hydropower stations capable of generating up to 300 billion kilowatt hours a year. Enough for the energy needs of 300 million people for one year. China has spent more than decades conducting ecological assessments. Only after ensuring scientific rigor and environmental safety did it green light the project. Why is China doing this now? First, capability. China now has the technology, expertise, and experience to take on such a massive and complex project. Second, this is more than an infrastructure milestone. It's about green development, bringing jobs and economic vitality to Xizang with environmental considerations at its core. Some Indian officials claim the project threatens their water security. But let's face the scientific reality. The Yalu Zambu River enters India as Buhamaputra, and its flow is largely driven by monsoons and tributaries south of the Himalayas. An Indian official admitted 65 to 70 percent of the water in the river comes within India, not from upstream in China. A hydropower station doesn't consume or trap water, it generates electricity and releases the water back into the river. If anything, this project could help stabilize water flow, reduce flooding, and mitigate climate-related disasters, benefits that some countries refuse to acknowledge. Let's be honest, these countries' anxiety seem less about environment and more about using it as a tool to gain geopolitical leverage over China. In its disputes with Pakistan, India has repeatedly used water as leverage. In May, India shut all the sluice gates of the Bagliha and Salal Dam on the China River, significantly reducing water flow to Pakistan. That was real weaponizing water. China has pledged scientific regulation with no deliberate increase or reduction of downstream flow during wet or dry seasons. China's focus is on development, not destabilization. So perhaps the real issue isn't the project itself, but some countries' discomfort with China's success in green energy, regional development, and responsible transboundary management. Water should connect countries, not divide them. This mega project is said to benefit the region rather than serve as a tool of political leverage.